Mr. Klein Storytime. Hello, my name is Mr. Klein. I've been an elementary school teacher for almost 30 years, and I love reading stories to young people just like you. In fact, I've got a great story that I'd like to share with you right now. So let's get started. I have to go. Story by Robert Munch, art by Michael Marchenko. One day, Andrew's mother and father were taking him to see his grandma and grandpa. Before they put him in the car, his mother said, Andrew, do you have to go pee? Andrew said, no, 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 no. His father said very slowly and clearly, Andrew, do you have to go pee? No, 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 said Andrew. I've decided never to go pee again. So they put Andrew into the car, fastened his seatbelt, and gave him lots of books and lots of toys and lots of crayons and drove off down the road. Vroom! They had been driving for just one minute when Andrew yelled, I have to go pee! Yikes, said the father. Oh no, said the mother. Then the father said, Now, Andrew, wait just five minutes. In five minutes, we'll come to a gas station where you can go pee. Andrew said, I have to go pee right now. So the mother stopped the car. Screech! Andrew jumped out of the car and peed behind a bush. When they got to Grandma's and Grandpa's house, Andrew wanted to go out to play. It was snowing and he needed a snowsuit. Before they put on the snowsuit, the mother and the father and the grandma and the grandpa all said, Andrew, do you have to go pee? Andrew said, no, 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 no. So they put on Andrew's snowsuit. It had five zippers, 10 buckles, and 17 snaps. It took them half an hour to get the snowsuit on. Andrew walked out into the backyard, threw one snowball, and yelled, I have to go pee! The father and the mother and the grandma and the grandpa all ran outside, got Andrew out of the snowsuit, and carried him to the bathroom. When Andrew came back down, they had a nice long dinner. Then it was time for Andrew to go to bed. Before they put Andrew into bed, the mother and the father and the grandma and the grandpa all said, Andrew, do you have to go pee? Andrew said, no, 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 no. So his mother gave him a kiss and his father gave him a kiss and his grandma gave him a kiss and his grandpa gave him a kiss. Just wait, said the mother. He's going to yell and say he has to go pee. Oh, said the father. He does it every night. It's driving me crazy. The grandmother said, I never had these problems with my children. They waited for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. The father said, I think he is asleep. The mother said, yes, I think he is asleep. The grandmother said, he is definitely asleep, and he didn't yell and say he had to go pee. Then Andrew said, I wet my bed. So the mother and father and the grandma and the grandpa all changed Andrew's bed and Andrew's pajamas. Then the mother gave him a kiss, and the father gave him a kiss, and the grandma gave him a kiss, and the grandpa gave him a kiss, and the grown-ups all went downstairs. They waited five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and from upstairs, Andrew yelled, Grandpa, do you have to go pee? And Grandpa said, Why, yes, I think I do. Andrew said, Well, so do I. So they both went to the bathroom and peed in the toilet. 
and Andrew did not wet his bed again that night, not even once. The End Thank you for coming to Storytime. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I read new stories every week, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to hear another one. Hope to see you again soon.